of the uh, Madeira International Airport. Yes, two days of great exploration around the island. And uh, now back to the airplane. Two days sleeping in the car. Freezing this morning up at the highest point here in Madeira Island. I put my rubbish where it's supposed to be. And uh, the joy of travel means safely back at the departures is what is next for me. And uh, sleepless nights, yet joyful flights and travels and explorations and expeditions and walks and talks. Saddest thing is that after seeing the island again, almost 28 years later, the island is completely destroyed in a way. There are more houses than land left there are no animals but plastic left, cans. The human consciousness has become a compulsive, reflective behavior. What was a peaceful island, now a busy, roaring sounds of aeroplanes and engines what was a very slow moving island now a very fast moving highways right around the island where you could have taken almost a whole day to explore the island with the infrastructure then available today you could go around the entire island within or less than two hours. That means progress, yes. At the same time, very little of the land's green cover is left. And it is time for me to pass on this message and say, I hope it doesn't change anymore because it is too serious and too dangerous to find ourselves in an island with no life.